Hi everyone, Zebra et al. here today to give you a very quick review on the differences between AHA and BHA, also known as alpha hydroxy acid and beta hydroxy acid. So naturally, our skin sheds dead skin every day, and as we age, the shedding process slows down, and that leaves a dull, flaky, uneven skin. And there are two methods which we use to exfoliate our skin. The first one is mechanical, and that's like using your Mia Fit or a facial scrub. And the second method is through chemical exfoliation, that is with AHA and BHA. There are two types of two there are two main types of AHA, and that's glycolic and lactic acid. Glycolic is much more smaller. And they also have a higher bioavailability, which means that it's easier to penetrate. So if you're someone who has pretty tough skin and who has been using AHA for a long time and doesn't seem to be helping you, try looking for something with glycolic acid. It might give you a better effect. And lactic acid is one of the more gentle AHA. It's great for someone who's sensitive skin and who's just started using AHA. In general, AHA is a little bit more harsh than BHA and is more likely to lead to redness and irritation. So if you so now a lot of people ask me, you know, which one would be better for me to pen on my skin type? Well it depends what you're looking for. So BHA is oil soluble, which mean what that means is that if you're someone who has acne or very clogged pores, it's BHA would be great for you because it's oil soluble. It could penetrate the pores, which is the pore is filled with oily substance. So the BHA is going to be great for that. And but at the same time, BHA is also very drying because it's such a good um, product for cleaning out your pores. And then AHA, on the other hand, is water soluble. It actually tends to attract water. It has two mechanisms which it works by and the first one is at the epidermal layer which is a superficial layer. It tends to relax the adhesions that connect um, skin cells and what that means is that it brings up the um, layers up faster so that you, know, you shed your dead skin faster so you're left with glowing younger skin. And the second mechanism is that at the dermal layer, there's some research that has shown that it increases collagen production. And collagen is what gives your skin that elastic um, texture. So before you um, use any of these products, you want to make sure that you have a very clean face because both products need a lower pH to work. So you want to wait 20 to 30 minutes after you use AHA or BHA on your skin before adding any additional product. And I know that there are some cleansers out there that has salicylic acid, which is a BHA. And unfortunately, a cleanser with um, salicylic acid is not sufficient enough. Um, it's not sufficient to really exfoliate your skin and the reason for that is any active product needs a fixed amount of time on the skin to work so unless you're going to leave your cleanser on your skin for 20 or 30 minutes it's not gonna really have enough time to work on your skin and exfoliate um so at the end of uh, overall you want if you're if you're someone with acne and sensitive skin i really do suggest that you start off with a bha and you want to start off at a low concentration, which is between 5 to 10%. And you want to start off every three days. And then eventually you could graduate to every two days and then every day. I hope you guys find this video um, helpful. If you guys have any suggestions or um, what you guys want.